Dig a trench around the polytunnel framework from doorpost to doorpost. The trench should be kept no less than four inches away from each hoop to stop the hoops from splaying into the trench. The trench should be dug 12 to 14 inches deep and a spade's width. Covering should only be attempted on a calm day with as little wind as possible. After digging the trench around the outside of the framework from doorpost to doorpost, roll the cover out down one side of the tunnel, making sure to clear the ground of any sharp objects. Pull the cover over the framework, ensuring that the logo with the word inside is to the inside of the tunnel. Centralise the sheet along the width and length of the tunnel. The cover will not reach the ground on the ends of the tunnel, but this is correct. Cut a length of batten to fit across the lintel at each side of the tunnel. Nail this batten to the lintel approximately 6 inches either side of centre. Cut a length of batten to fit across the lintel at the opposite end of the tunnel and pull the cover tight along the length. Don't be afraid to pull the cover as tight as possible as this part will be cut off at a later time. Nail the batten to the lintel, 6 inch either side of centre. The rest of the lintel will be covered at a later time. Starting at the centre on one side of the tunnel, pull the cover down into the trench and creating a smooth panel from the ridge down to the trench, backfill the hole. Work your way out to the ends of the tunnel, pulling the cover down and along the length, backfilling the trench as you go. Repeat this process on the opposite side of the tunnel, get as much tension down into the trench as possible. At the corners, cut the cover below ground level, in line with and out from the end hoop. Pull the cover around the door frame and twisting the wrist, create pleats. Nail in place as you go out from the centre of the lintel to the door post. Repeat this process down each door post, grabbing the cover, twisting the wrist and creating pleats. Pull the cover as tight as possible to smooth out the sides. The pleats should run out by the time you've reached the straight side, from which point the polythene should be smooth down into the trench. Repeat the process down the second door post. Again, get as much tension into the cover as possible. Position the pattern as tight up to the rebate as possible, as this will cause the cover to go around a corner and be fixed in place. Tension the cover down into the trench and backfill the hole. Repeat this process at the other end of the tunnel, again pulling the cover as tight as possible and batten in place.
taking extra care to trim off any excess polythene around the door frames at each end of the tunnel. Once the cover has been completed, loosen off any cover tension clamps on any intermediate hoops on the inside of the tunnel. Lift the hoop into the cover, reposition the clamp and tighten. This will ensure the cover has a drum tight finish. door to the door frame on the outside of the tunnel to finish off. Premier Polytunnels supply a detailed construction guide with every polytunnel. We also provide a construction advice helpline seven days a week, along with a comprehensive collection of online construction videos. If you have any queries or questions, give the team a call or visit our website for more details.